Here's the deal. Move over, slow down, or pay the price. We'll tell you why keeping our state police and other emergency highway crew members so safe. Thanks for staying with WJZ tonight. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nicole Baker. Governor Hogan wants to put all of us on notice, and he's doing it with the new campaign. And it comes during Crash Responder Safety Week and WJZ Live along the JFX tonight. Max McGee with the incredible story of one worker who has been hit by a car four times but is alive to spread his message. Max. Rick Nicole, yeah, his name is Steven Stitchcomb, and yeah, you heard that right. Four times he's been hit by a car. He wants everyone to practice that move over law before another tragic story happens yet again. Every day, Steven Stitchcomb goes to work as emergency response technicians. He knows he's risking his life. On Crash Responder Safety Week, it's time to increase awareness to lower the chances. Stitchcomb has been hit by a car four times in his career. But two and a half years ago, stands out as he laid on his back on 695. I'm looking up at the sky, and then I see cars going around me on both sides. And I was like, man, I need to get up and get out of here before I get hit again. So I stood up and ran in front of my truck as fast as I could to recover. I had a pretty good cut on my hand from my uh, pocket knife, and I had some scrapes and bruises from being dragged my lower extremities. Other highway workers weren't as fortunate. Last month, 38-year-old AAA worker Muhammad Shazad was killed by a driver on I-70 in Marriottsville after changing a flat tire. This is the latest incident, as since 2016, there have been 68 crashes at sites where MDOT first responders were tending to traffic calls. We are asking and urging motorists to slow down, move over when you can, and if you can't move over, please recognize the opportunity to at least slow down when you can. These cameras on state trucks were installed years ago, but can only help so much when people text while driving or don't pay attention. It's a good job. I love helping people. Um, you know, we're kind of like the unsung heroes. We, uh, you know, we get to help people. And Stinchcomb is lucky to be alive. Governor Larry Hogan and the rest of the state are doing their part to keep it that way. And back live now. A year and a half ago, Stitchcomb was presented with the life saving award from the American Red Cross. He says moments like that make up for all the bad ones. We are live at 5 30 tonight. Max McGee for WJZ.